I am Dr. Harish. I am a practicing general pediatrician and consultant international pediatric cardiologist. I am practicing at uh, Joss Center in uh, Jayanagar, Bangalore. The heart disease in uh, children, uh, any of the defects, the cause has not been known. In some of the instances, the causes are known, uh, what we call as uh, predisposing factors or increased uh, risk factors. So, like if the mother has uh, uh, rubella infection, so then there is a tendency, it is known that uh, the baby can present with a uh, heart problem like uh, PDA. There are certain genetic conditions or syndromes where uh, if the child is known to have some syndrome, it can, we know that uh, these kids can suffer from some form of uh, congenital heart defects like a baby with a Down syndrome there can be presence of multiple holes, there can be presence of valves which are deformed. It could uh, sometimes uh, in uh, Turner syndrome or uh, where uh, the arteries may get narrowed or there could be obstruction on the valve. So these are the, some syndromes which if present we know that this child may suffer from uh, congenital heart defect. And uh, uh, coming to the, again, the, the pregnancy, the risk factor in uh, pregnancies, if the uh, mother uh, is on some medications due to some acne or uh, some psychotropic medications, they also can lead to uh, some form of uh, heart uh, defects in the uh, child. If the mother is uh, having untreated uh, uh, diabetes during pregnancy, uh, that can lead to severe form of uh, heart defect in the child where the uh, vessels which arises out of the heart, they may be reversed, so which is a very serious uh, heart problem. If the mother is having some infection, so like uh, SLE, so in those situations the baby can present with uh, uh, heart blocks, that is the uh, heart rate may be significantly low for a baby, it can be as low as uh, 40 to 50 per minute, so which is uh, very very uh, low for the baby, particularly a neonate. So these are all the common uh, risk factors associated and in addition if there is a parent who themselves have uh, congenital heart disease, then there is a tendency for the baby also to have uh, the uh, more uh, risk for having similar form of heart disease or it may be slightly uh, a different uh, heart disease or if there is any sibling who has a similar heart disease uh, other sibling also might suffer from the same heart disease or it could be uh, another uh, form of heart disease coming to uh, the curative part the so most of the heart diseases are curable provided they are uh, diagnosed and treated on time the best modality of uh, treatment varies according to the condition underlying heart defect Sometimes it may require surgical correction, sometimes it may just need uh, medical therapy, sometimes it may need, uh, need uh, non-surgical therapy or what we call as uh, pinhole procedures or device procedures wherein we don't uh, open the heart but uh, still if there is a hole in the heart that can be closed without uh, uh, making any scar in the body. If there is a blockage in the vessels that can be opened up by doing the balloon procedure. If there is a heart uh, defect, uh, uh, the rhythm uh, defect where uh, the child has abnormal rhythm and the heartbeat uh, is uh, too slow, a pacemaker can be put in. Uh, all this uh, without having to open the heart. So these are all the ways uh, the treatment uh, can be done. So not one, uh, you can't say which is the best modality. But uh, again, all of these uh, form uh, of uh, treatment gives uh, equally good results. But uh, we need to uh, diagnose and detect it quite early so that uh, the treatment, uh, whatever we do, gives optimal results. Sometimes the surgery may not be just a single uh, uh, stage, it may be multiple stage of uh, surgeries, multiple stage of interventions might be required and it could be sometimes elective or it could be sometimes emergency. So all these things uh, can depend only once the child is uh, uh, detected on time. The surgery or interventions, how early can it be done? It can be done in a neonate, that is a very few days after delivery also it can be done. It can be done in a baby who weighs as low as 1 kg, even that baby may need intervention. It all depends upon the underlying condition and the emergency of the procedure. So. Uh, there is no weight criteria per se, so any baby who has a severe heart uh, defect at any point of time may go in for either a surgical or a non-surgical treatment.